So how soon is that vaccine really coming? Israel and most of the world are waiting for the vaccine to be their key to return to normalcy. But until the majority of the population has access, the virus will continue to spread. How do we really know how safe the vaccine is when the entire process was run on fast forward? Can we really trust that it's safe? Listen to what a former FDA official had to say about this in an interview with Ynet earlier. I think there will continue to be some concerns. Uh, and that is because the time for really understanding all of the safety issues uh, has not passed yet. So we know we will know a lot when we see that data. Haven't seen it yet. When we see the safety data, but that safety data is what we call acute. It's early. It's what's happened to people who were vaccinated in the last three or four months. Mm -hmm. Generally, when you approve a new vaccine, you have years worth of data. Well, safe or not, it could be close to a month until the earliest projections of when Israel could receive its first shipment of vaccines. Officials are saying now it's too late. We're already entering a third wave. Let's speak to Dr. Manfred Green. He's the director of the MA in Public Health Program at the University of Haifa. Thank you, doctor, for joining us. Thanks very much. How are you? <laughs> I'm great. So I have to ask you, you know, are we entering a third wave? If the government doesn't implement another lockdown, how do you see this progressing? But I, I, I could just start off with a statement that the whole concept of waves is a little confusing. It's not something mysterious that happens on its own. It happens because usually of a number of factors, including human behavior and the weather and all the rest of it. So what we're basically seeing is we're seeing a typical outbreak or epidemic, large epidemic, pandemic, and it's following a typical pattern where, in fact, the virus spreads, and this virus spreads very easily. And when you in impose these lockdown measures or restrictions, not necessarily lockdown, using masks and social distancing and so on, you restrict the spread of the virus. The other factor is obviously the weather. And not so much because it's affecting directly the virus, but it's affecting very much human behavior. Because when it gets colder, people stay more indoors and they stay with the heating on and they're close to one another. And that encourages the spread of the virus. So in fact, we have a combination of factors right now which are problematic. Still about, we would guess that not more than much more than about 10% of the population have been infected up to now. Okay. So there are a large number of the population, a large percentage, who still are, don't have antibodies and they can be infected. Right. And, you know, regarding the vaccine, we just heard a soundbite from Dr. Alpert from the FDA. She said it normally takes a few years to make sure a vaccine is safe. Can we really trust these vaccines after, you know, such a short testing period? We've got to point out that we've made huge progress in vaccines and we're not using technology of 20 or 30 or 40 years ago. So, in fact, the development phase has been increased in time. It's been re reduced in time, sorry, very substantially. And we have new technologies now with new kinds of vaccines, although they do much the same thing. And we need to remember that the safety is not just on humans. By the time it goes into trials, and these are uh, phase three trials, it's gone through very rigorous safety testing in the laboratory. It's uh, often on laboratory animals and then in small groups of people. So in fact, the safety process has actually been in progress for quite a long time. And that would give us actually a secure feeling that this is a safe vaccine. It wouldn't have been given in a phase three trial if we weren't confident that it was already a very safe vaccine. We know the Pfizer vaccine is quite far ahead in terms of testing. What about the vaccine that's being developed right here in Israel? The one in Israel, again, I, I'm not, uh, I know the, some of the details, but obviously I'm not involved directly in that. Um, but it also uses a known technology. It's a different one from the Pfizer and the Moderna ones, uh, more closely related, I guess, to the AstraZeneca one, where there is a a carrier virus, so to speak, which doesn't cause disease, and that carries the so-called antigen protein, spike protein that gives you the opportunity to develop antibodies against the, uh, the uh, SARS, uh, the COVID-19 virus. So what we're doing basically is we're using technology that's uh, more familiar with us, although all of these technologies are slightly different and slightly more, shall we say, modern. Right. 
Well, of course, we hope the vaccines are safe and we get them as soon as possible. Doctor, thank you so much. Thank you very much.